Hey, this is Robert Monroe. I'm coming at you with another just kind of random talk about what I've been thinking about. And this time I want to talk about staying on target. Stay on target, you know, just like in Star Wars. And what I mean by that is you have a goal. I know you do. And if you don't know you have a goal, think about it and you'll realize you have a goal. That goal should be everything to what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish. And what is crazy is good stuff is one of the biggest obstacles to goals. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say our goal is to be able to play enough chords that we can play in church on piano or guitar. Well, you learn C major, then G major, then A minor, then F. You're golden. You know everything you need to know. So you start learning the song for church. There's a C6 in there, randomly. I don't know what worship song has a C6, but there's a C6 in there. Your teacher has already told you, you don't need to worry about the six. Just play a C major. Well, instead of sticking with the plan and learning the song so you can play in church, you get obsessed with the C6. And then you start checking out other alternate chords, a D2. You check out a G7. This is all wonderful. These are great things. I hope you learn what a C6 is. But here's the problem. You're distracted from your goal. And because of that, you are going to fail. And once you fail, then you'll get discouraged, and then you will want to quit. This is the story I see over and over again, particularly with my adult beginners. But in reality, anyone can fall trapped to this, even professional musicians and people who do it for a living. So I want you to stay on target. The way that this really works is through the good stuff. The bad stuff we kind of know, like oh, I feel tired today. This is going to be hard to practice. Oh, I just have to persevere through. Makes sense. Not, oh, what I really want to do is be able to play on time, but you know what? I really should try to play this tricky pattern, rhythmic pattern on this piece because that'll make it sound better. No, stop. Just play quarter notes. You said you just wanted to play in time. So just play in time. Anyway, this has been... A little bit amusing with Robert Monroe. I hope you liked it. I hope it was encouraging. Go ahead, follow this channel because we got tons of different stuff coming out. If you want to see me play some video games, that's over on my Twitch. If you want to see me just rant about things, that's over on my Twitter. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.